fifth meeting of the Hadley Board of Commissions, Commissioners for the Hadley Housing Authority. It's a beautiful sunny day in Hadley. It is six minutes after 11. The meeting was posted for 11. So for those of you watching on YouTube, apologies for the uh, late meeting. Uh, we have no minutes to review because we did the minute review at the last meeting, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, um, actually, we only approved the minutes from July. Our uh, housing authority employee who acts as the scribe has been quite ill, and now she's working on getting the, uh, three or four sets of minutes up to speed so we can. Okay. Is she at the right? next meeting? Is she all right? This pandemic. Yeah, I talked to her. Yeah, we shouldn't say names, please. But I, I talked to her the she other day, it. and she uh, is feeling much better. So by the next scheduled meeting, you know, that we, our regular business meeting, we should be all caught up in minutes. That's what she's working on. Okay. Is she a tenant? No. Oh, okay. She's a public employee of the commission, right? Of the Amherst Commissions. She, yes. She's an employee of Amherst Towns. Yeah. yeah. And she acts as our scribe. What's her title? Okay. Uh, it, it, it is of no. I'm just wondering if she's a secretary. Why or? don't you call and ask? Okay. Well, well you have uh, out for the public meetings. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, it's just not germane to the. Well, it is because I just wonder because she takes notes during the meeting. Well, 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 why don't you call and ask? Oh, I'll do that. Um, okay. Are there any topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours in advance of this meeting? Does anybody have anything unanticipated? No. Okay. Uh, we have some board correspondence, which I don't have, Why not? which are the guidelines are they all in the package from oh, last time? Okay. It, well, they're all in our board package for this meeting. Okay, I'm going to read that. I'm going to read these off. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to read these off. These are uh, Office of, what's it, the Executive Office of Housing and Sustainable Living? Livable Communities. Livable Communities. Thank you. These are um, guidelines and clarification documents from the old DHCD office. Um, and I'm going to read the names of the documents we have in front of us here that we'll be referring to over the next few weeks. One is PHN202103 BOHLC Guidelines for LHA Hiring of an Executive Director. The second is the uh, PHN. 2022 02 Executive Director Salary and Qualification Schedule. The next is PHN 2017-18 EOHLC -E Guidelines for At Will Employment of Executive Director. And then in a PHN 2017-25 EOHLC Guideline for Executive Director Contracts. Then we have PHN 2019-29, Clarification of EOHLC Standards for Reviewing Benefits Provision of Local Housing Authority Executive Director Contracts. Lastly, we have 760-CFR-4.04-LA through D. Uh, and that's it for the list of public and release documents that we will be looking at. Um, the topics of discussion today relate to a search for a new executive dir director. And um, the discussion will include a budget for an executive director search, the search for an executive director, and a subcommittee appointment and selection committee with their scope of responsibilities. So it's a short meeting today. I see the executive director has arrived and will be joining us momentarily. So a budget for the executive director search. I believe at the last meeting, we voted to approve spending the money on advertising in print and 
with print ads for an executive director. And I believe Sue Oppenheimer, Commissioner Oppenheimer, has been working on this. Uh, and cool. If you excuse me for one minute, I'm going to see if Pamela's ready to join us. You'll just hang on one second, Sue. Yeah, she's ready. No, that first part of that. Can I sit next to you? Okay. Okay. I don't know if I've got my packet. Like, well, on the phone with somebody. Yeah. No, I mean the whole packet. Because it's out of that Did I get the entire thing last? Last one. Yes, you did. Is what it was. Usually, I pull it out. Thank you. Do you want to face the camera or us? I usually like to hide from the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so it's an unusual situation to be discussing the search for a new executive director while we have a working executive director. And Richard, luckily, put your agenda after that. Oh, yeah. She's in a position to help us willingly and professionally in our search <clears throat> if we um, do pursue a search as we have said we would. So again, back to the idea of a budget. So you got some prices on advertising? Like I did. Correct? I called Springfield Republican, Daily Hampshire Gazette, and the Greenfield Recorder. I did find out that's the three newspapers that we're choosing to use. And I did find out from the Daily Hampshire Gazette that and the Greenfield Recorder that you get the Athol newspaper for free if you put in the Springfield, the Daily Hampshire, and the Greenfield. You get the Athol Daily News for free. Okay. And uh, I found out which one's also the Springfield Republican. It also shows up on Mass Live, that the internet section. And uh, the Daily Hampshire Gazette people that best subscribe to getting their newspapers delivered to their houses can also get it free now the, it, on the internet. So there's no extra charge for putting that on the internet. And so I have all the, all the places to send it, how many days a week the paper runs, what, what are the biggest circulation days, um, did all that research on that. And I also have like all the telephone numbers and the email addresses, who the best contact people are. And uh, we may not have to put something on the internet also above and beyond the newspapers because of the fact that these three newspapers all post online too. That's something we're going to have to find out. So the topic is the budget. Right. So for instance, the Daily Hampshire Gazette is $18.92 per square column inch. You know, there's an example of... $18.92? $18.92 per column inch. And tells you what day of the week too. Okay. And the other newspapers was... The, didn't have a set amount, it was counting the words. It has to do with the fact that the Springfield Republican is they charge per line and there's 22 to 29 characters per line. So we can't have an exact price. We have to come up when the address, which is already completed, but has to be checked by DHCD. Yeah, right. have you have to have a price per line. Lines. And then I'm did. sorry. You have a price per line or per character? Well, no, no. It all depends on how large our ad is. The, the, the more characters we have, yes, the more lines we have, the better price we, okay. we have. So that's hard to say because it's not cut and dry. Daily Hampshire Gazette is cut and dry, 1892. And the recorder and the... Uh... The same thing that the Daily Hampshire Gazette is the same thing that Greenfield and Athol because they're, the, they're run by the same companies now. Right. So whatever... If it's 1892 course, uh, Paul and Inch of the Daily Hampshire, the Greenfield Reporter would be the same. Then you get the free Athol newspaper. Sounds like we don't have a, a estimated budget yet. Well, the estimated is depending on, well, the ad is written, DHCD looks at it once they tweak it or give us the okay, and we'll know the exact amount. All they could do is give us a ballpark figure. Do we have a copy of this? Yeah. Now? Okay, so you have a sample ad? Yeah, I do. And what would that sample ad cost? Do we know? It will not, I didn't get a price for it only because of the fact that it has to be looked at by DHCD. Without DHCD, it's okay, we can't. But even if the DHCD or LD 
Well, which we can't go if right. they even look at it, all right, so take it in any way, we should right. have some kind of an estimate. Many, uh, yeah. Well, I, I, we won't know that until how many power just nasty lines. Does everybody have one? Well, I think what, what the chairman's asking, if I may, is to what right. currently is be, oh, I'm sorry. what currently is before us. Right. right. What would that cost? Uh, you know, take this eighteen ninety two a column inch and something per right. character per character. I don't know what else. Well, as soon as we know exactly what if this is going to be the ad, we have to add to it. We can go tell us an exact. All they could do is do a, a ballpark figure. So, say for Springfield Republican, if it's per line, twenty two to twenty nine hundred. It all depends on you know how large the print is and how many lines say. They go, or do they, do they double space or single space? I'm not sure. All right. So we can only get an estimate. So D, the next thing we have to do is get DHCD to pay this. Well, first, we have to look at it too, right? Okay. I can speak or speak. Who is giving you the information that the three newspapers is known? Where are you getting your information from? Because according to all the, the, the PHNs that I've given you, you have to do a nationwide search. You have to do a search reaching out to minority. Yes, and the um, minority newspaper is the Springfield Republican. Right? It is what the Springfield Republican is not. That's what they said. I talked to somebody about the Zach. From who? From the in from the classified section. He said they are considered. Okay, there's a there's a minority list, newspaper. There's a list of the minority newspapers because it goes in different languages. There's a list of minority newspapers in the PHI. Right. Well, I'm just telling you what I, when I spoke with him. Right, but it's we, we have to follow B O H L C. Right. Okay. Yeah. From I've read through these PHNs, and um, I hope you have too. But this particular ad doesn't comply with. The requirements from the PHN. So I'm going to suggest that we do start a, a subcommittee who then reports back to the board about, you know, and really, really studies these PHNs to make sure that we are not, as individual board members, exposed to any liability. We have to follow the PHNs exactly. It right. doesn't matter what Zach at Springfield Republican says. He's no. not the one in charge of I understand that the exactness, but we're a work in progress. And you said this is some, this is something we haven't done before. Well, actually And according to what I read as far as going over the package she gave him, this did cover everything for the for the preliminary ad, the local in the in the local area. Who who was she? You know, following the papers that you gave us, and from the step by step from DAC to the, my papers from Mass Union, I I included in here what well, we needed to. Can can I? Can I yeah, have a. So um, I did reach out to um, because I had said at a previous meeting, if you're going to go through with this, that I highly recommend that you use an outside headhunter. Um, it absolutely will cost a little bit more money, but. With no disrespect to our commissioners on the board, you're not HR people, and you're not it, you. You are opening up the housing authority in yourself to all kinds of things when we hire ourselves. So I do have a figure from Mass Naro who will do the search, and I have some information that just came in that I can I can give you what their scope like, of service. I'd like to hear the information. There's yeah, no, it's, so their yeah. their search starts at six thousand dollars. And then plus advertising, which it can range from fifteen hundred dollars to four thousand dollars. <laughs> and then I have written to DV Main Sale and have not gotten a response just yet. Two. But uh, DV Main Sale, they're out of Connecticut. They did the search for Amherst in twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. um, in twenty eighteen, it cost the housing authority, uh, the Amherst Housing Authority, five thousand eight hundred twenty six dollars and ninety cents for the search. Plus an additional um, $850 of advertising. And believe it or not, back in 2016, um, Robert Half charged the Amherst Housing Authority $25,000. So I wouldn't recommend that because we certainly don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. But I would recommend either DB Main Sale or, or we can even look, I can broaden the scope and or search to find yeah. another headhunter. But yeah, so I have a discussion about this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So talking to Bass Union, which I, I knew some of the people previously, 
they have people they suggest to too. The only thing is that the fact of using Mass Narrow is the, is the fact that you're on the board there. Is there a conflict so, but, of interest there? No, there's not a conflict of well, interest. Well, that's what we're asking. Right, there's, there's not a conflict of interest. And with all due respect for Mass Tenants Organization, they they have nothing to do with the regulations that are promulgated. No, but they're, they're, they're versed, well, versed. They're not versed in no, that. They're, they're not. They're versed in, in forming tenant units. That's what they're versed. Yeah. And they need to stay well, in their lane. Well, and you well, have no faith in the executive office because DHC doesn't respond. Because, so it's not one, one yeah. at a time. So yeah. yes, it, 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 yes, and 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 again, I I'm saying this. I think this is a so colossal we'll, waste of money. If I can, if I can, yeah. if I can just put that out there, um, because again, we had we have a pattern at the Hadley Housing Authority since Darlene Cohen was here, or Cohen Mitchell, of running out executive directors. Because we don't like that they stick to the regulations that we don't like that are promulgated by the state of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. The housing authority absolutely reaps the benefit of being in a management agreement. Um, I will tell you too that if you decide to go with another management agreement with another housing authority, you actually don't even have to advertise. Right. So if you decide, if you decide, oh, I, we want to, to you. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Janet's uh, term, if we want to yoke with Northampton, you could pick up the phone and yoke with Northampton um, if they were if they're willing, because that those are municipal contracts between two government agencies and your DHCD doesn't require you to go through all of this. Thank you. Any, any response to what Pamela just said? I have my response. Anybody? Yeah. Reese? Yes. Yes. Um, I do not think, as using Sue's own words from last meeting, we are a new board, we don't know the regulations and the rules, et cetera, et cetera, and I agree. And I see that you put a lot of effort into this, and yet still it doesn't approach complying with the rules and rights. I would prefer to use, I mean, if we're going to do this, which I think is ridiculous, to search for a new executive director when we're in a successful management agreement right now with Amherst Housing. But if but if a quorum of the board is going to insist, then I emphatically assist, insist we use an outside search tool like uh, the Mass Narrow organization. They know all the rules and regs, and we then will not be subject to legal liability as individuals on board because putting something out there that is not accordance in accordance to the law puts us at extreme risk. But I don't, Reese, excuse me, I don't remember coming to one meeting since you've been on the board where you haven't mentioned open meeting law violations or, or what was the other so one? What, are you no, on I just, topic? Are you on topic? Or, uh, or what was what the other one? Open media or, um, well, I forget the, the other word. Um, so we're talking know, about this. We're talking I want to be able to talk about this because I feel like every single meeting we're sort of threatened about open meeting violations or, um, I, I'm trying to remember the other so word. So we're not talking about our relations as no, but so, so we're not. <laughs> really no thinking. personal attacks, please. It's an ethics violation. So it's violation. the topic right. of discussion right now, if we're capable of staying on it, is whether it makes sense to hire an outside firm. Uh, Pamela has hired, uh, uh, sent out, handed me, uh, what is this, a copy of where our reserve is at right now? Yeah, that's in your board packet, and that is that is from this last budget revision that the board approved. Mm -hmm. So if you were, we, our budget reserves, and I just gave you my copy, our budget reserves is what, 113? Yeah. But of that $113,000, we must maintain a 35% to stay in favorable of uh, accounting with the executive office. So that literally leaves us $37,900 something dollars as usable monies um, for anything, for the boilers that we need to replace in two of the units, to um, the, um, any kind of emergency maintenance, an independent audit, and an EV search. That's how much money our, our budget reserves have been going down because of capital. Okay. Capital expenditures. All right. So we have to decide at some point if we're going to go ahead with a you know a, a okay. private company doing a search if it's worth spending six grand or so of our thirty eight grand or so. It's in your package. Okay, Harry, I, I have a question on numbers. 
and how they could calculate it. Um, we have $113,000 in the operating reserve. Mm -hmm. You're saying, very correctly, 35% of that must be maintained as a reserve. So 35% of 113, I, even if I used 40%, 40 times 113,000 is 44,000 something. When you subtract the 44 from the 113, these numbers aren't adding up to me. Let me just double check. So it's 130, I'm just going to round the, off. The reserve balance was 113,745. Call it 114. I'm just, the numbers aren't making sense. So 35% of that is 39. Five fifty. What's okay? So we're thirteen seven four five. We have two different numbers here. Right. So seventy three seventy three thousand four hundred and fifty is what we can spend. No, is what we have to keep in reserves. Thirty five percent. No, I, I stand corrected. Just flip it. Exactly what you're saying. Well, so for the camera, but, you flip it. Because yes. Because you're yeah. giving us these numbers I, I and apologize. these aren't making sense. So it's 73,450 and we have to keep 39,550 in reserves. Right. So 39,5 call. We have to save 40,000. I don't know, 113, we get to spend the difference. 73,450. Okay. So we so may, may reverse I, that. Okay. Yes, reverse that thing. Okay. So, this is one. So my question is this is. The date of this is 930, but this is before the bills were paid for the cost overruns for the capital project. Right, those have not come in yet. So the capital project reduces our reserves. So even though this is true as of 930, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be paying the cost overruns for the capital, <coughs> capital project. Mm -hmm. So our money is actually less than this for reserves. Is that correct? Yes, it's it's a fluid number, but it is. Yeah, yeah there it is. is. We do have to make sure that we stay at the thirty five percent. So it is still low. So my point is, uh, we're going to be down to thirty five percent reserves, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty quick. We that means we really oh, don't. Sorry. We do not have the money to do a search right now. The thing is, we don't have to do a search right now. If you still want to do a search in a while, then we're in a stronger position financially, then we can do a search. But right now, we don't have the money to do a search. Okay. I'd like to, Mr. Chairman, yeah. run to that. Right. Okay. Set aside the money that we have. What concerns me the most? And I've said it in my retirement letter of last month, and I will be retiring from public service. Um, what concerns me is that this board remains divided. There's no unanimity on this. And knowing that, to spend money and then leave it up to a crapshoot, if you will, at the end, we already know that there is a divided board here, and uh, there'll be a decision. And if we spent all this money out of the reserves, and that boat decides that we will not fire whomever is, comes before us. We may get some very good candidates, um, but to select a candidate, it's going to require a vote of this board. And uh, requiring the vote of the board, where we have such a divided board, concerns me in spending this reserve money. So I'm hesitant and reluctant. I, I don't really know how this is going to unfold. Fold because we are a divided board. In addition, for a 16 hour a week position, I don't understand nationwide search really baffles me because when Mary Billion was our executive director, or actually she worked in the office under uh, the, the attorney there, what was his name? Howard Kosky. Howard Kosky. She was the assistant. Uh, I don't recall, though I haven't yet to see the minutes where it was recorded four years ago, how the board decided to join the Amherst Housing. Uh, you have uh, seen I, I'd like to finish. You know, I apologize. It, no, I'd like to just finish my thought process. Um, and so I, I doubt that there is a nationwide search for Mary Billion who gets elevated to the executive director. In addition to that, if there is going to be any litigation with uh, uh, 
this to keep us out of trouble. We don't have an attorney, Mr. Chairman, that represents us at the Housing Authority. We have an attorney that represents the uh, Housing Authority if we have to go to court for hearings and tenants and all that. But if something comes up in all of this that we are going to be, and I agree with Commissioner uh, Smith Free, there's something that we could be held liable for. We don't have an attorney looking out for us. So at some point in this meeting, I'm going to make a motion that we go back and visit that we need an attorney for anything that may or may not come up. Okay. Uh, but I am concerned that this board remains divided. And when it comes down to the end of this whole thing, and if we spent all this money and we decided not to hire somebody, okay. that's not going to set right. Oh, I'd like to have a comment or Reese call. You no, no, you can right hand up. Okay. Uh, no, please do. All right. Harry made some good points here. One is the divided board, and um, we had two people who did not really want to go out for a search, two people who did, and me, I was the swing vote feeling as chair. If two board members want to do something, I didn't want to stand in their way. And uh, so I said, sure, let's, let's do the search. Um, Harry just brought up some, I think, significant issues. We have a divided board. Harry's about to leave the board. I'll be off the board before we know it. We don't know who the new commissioners are and how well they're going to um, adjust to the existing executive director and um, working as a team and that stuff. So maybe this is a bad time to do a search. The, uh, the money even put aside. Um, we don't have our own attorney at this point, so we don't uh, know what would happen if, uh, what's our budget for an attorney? You have a monthly, like 400 bucks a month or something, or is that the account? No, so we do have, so if I can just correct, there is yeah. re legal representation for actions of the board. There are not, re there is not legal representation for actions of individual members, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, and then for the housing authority for this year, it is three thousand five hundred dollars for reimbursement from the executive office. It's, it's in our budget at line item for the regional attorneys. Um, and then beyond that, you would then be dipping into your reserves if 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 the board acted in a in a way. Okay. You could, we would go above and beyond. So let's budget. say that's about ten hours of attorney time. From your experience, Patlin, do you know? It is, um, have you ever run into a situation where the DHCD attorney was called in to solve a board problem and did it take many more hours than that? That doesn't sound like a lot of hours. Thirty-five. For, well, we do have a. There's a set fee of one hundred and sixty dollars with the regional attorneys. Um, that's all. Yeah, because that they they vet the the attorneys. Is that the hourly really rate? Right? That's the hourly rate. Yep, for so other states. We agree on yeah. what our hourly rate is because yeah. we had things in the past where we had different rates. Right, because on the federal side, it's the two ten. Okay. That was, I was just curious. Yep. Yeah, no, that, so that's a confusion. But yeah, so there is, there is, <clears throat> they have, and there, and there is an instance happening right now with a local housing authority that the board has been searching um, and, and attempting to do these steps in good faith, but there is confusion between two candidates and the board and the house. The housing authority are being sued for uh, discrimination. The board is, which but through the housing, it's that housing. Okay. it comes through the housing. Okay, so guys, I'm going to. I'm going to speak for a minute. Yeah. I'm changing my mind about whether or not this is a good time to go out for an ED search right now. Um, for various reasons. And I would like to do something which we haven't talked about yet. And that is not today, but to have an executive session, uh, session with all of us and with Pamela. And I believe it's one of the allowable reasons for executive sessions to talk about the performance of an employee of the organization. So I would like us all to sit around without the cameras running. We can take notes as we wish and have a face-to-face -face with the current executive director about what we are happy with, what we are unhappy with, and what we think ought to change, but not necessarily just be removed. So I don't, we haven't done that as a board, right? No. So we've never had a kind of informal or formal performance evaluation with the current executive director, yet we're making moves to give her the message that we'd like someone new to come in. So I have been looking after companies in my life several times with similar situations coming up where an employee or a partner was not 
performing in the way that was making everybody happy. So we never just moved to remove that person or to find someone to replace them. The first step was always to sit down with that person and see if we agreed on things that could be improved. And I'm wondering if our first step, both to show respect to the existing EV and to perhaps solve ourselves, save ourselves a tremendous amount of trouble, would be, I'm gonna repeat myself now, I want to make sure you guys are understanding what we're talking about. An executive session with the current ED to discuss what we're unhappy with, what we'd like to see changed, and what we'd like to see gotten rid of. If you guys are open to that, I would like to do that soon and see if we can agree that fixes could be made that would satisfy the things that we're most unhappy with. Can you just think about it for a minute? And Reese. Yes, uh, I am in favor of that as well. There, I believe there are uh, instruments already available to evaluate executive directors of state aid of housing authorities. And, and we should each have an instrument, fill it out, make our comments. But I don't think it can be done in an executive session. It has to be open to the public uh, so when you're doing a performance review of your executive director, that's under public scrutiny. Oh. Uh, it, it's only if personal or, uh, I don't know, health or something like that is going to be discussed. You may be right, and I'm not opposed to having a, a public discussion either. But or I would want us, find like out. you said, use an instrument that is is written to elicit if you want to comment on that, if I may respond, I have found the instruments um, that were used in the past in my public service life here in Hadley have been woefully neglectful and insufficient, but we can still use them, but they haven't really covered everything. Pamela, you had something to add about whether yeah, or not... So I am, I am looking it up, and I may end up disagreeing with Commissioner uh, Smith. Okay. <laughs> um, it, I believe it... Um, it's a, it, there is a part about performance and um, discipline or reviewing, um, and but the, it, it is up to um, the employee to say whether it would be an executive session. Right. I'm sure, sure. So, um, and I would be willing to do that because I think there's probably there's a lot that probably wants to be said um, in an open meeting or in a closed meeting um, that won't fit in a form either. And again, okay. I, I kind of share your point. Feeling to you know, thirty-five years of management. Sometimes those, you know, those forms that we fill out are kind of a. Sometimes you just need to talk right. to people too. But all right, um, I agree. but I would double check on this. I think that makes sense. sense. I also am afraid that we'll be mentioning, we'll want to mention names yeah. of tenants and other people, and it's much more comfortable for me to do that in an executive session. But Harry. right, and and I think there were a number of months back. I don't recall exactly. I think it was at the time when the Amherst Board of Commissioners came and met with us. Uh, I don't know whether you were on the board or not, Mr. Chairman, but John Allen was the chair. And we were trying, do you recall that? Yeah, yeah, that, was John. that was John. Yeah. Yeah. At the senior center. And we were tr and there was mentioned there that, uh, and I think I'm the one that mentioned it, that I would like to uh, hold some comments for an executive session that I felt were more important to be discussed amongst Amherst board, our board, and the executive so administration. But it never happened. And it didn't happen because I don't know why it didn't happen. It was supposed to happen. All right, thank you for the history. Um, well, no, but, but you like the idea. Are we going to have an issue with this now? The same thing. Um, it, I, I am That's the reason the funny question. The guidelines to make sure, because if I recall the way it was being broached at that time, we were advised by the town administrator it did not fit into holding. That's business. why I'm asking if yeah. this one will. That's I think it depends I'm on, on topic here, I, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted a clarification that we can do this. I think it would depend on, on the, how we're, we're phrasing the topic. And I, I am trying to open this on me. Because yeah. Attorney yeah. Libel has sent me over the, the 10 easy, the reasons why you can go into open meeting. Okay. Uh, are you okay with this? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. All right. Just speak to it. 
Well, it's on topic. It's on topic. My topic, but I think that we should do both. I think that we can go forth with this meeting, but I also think if we're always looking at things financially, when when it comes to independent auditors, when it comes to getting attorneys, we're always looking at numbers. We have to look at them, but I think that always takes. It always seems to shut everything down. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, I think we should start looking for a new executive director without edge hunters, and and then also do this at the same time, and that way we'll be doing both at the same time, and we'll, and we'll okay. see where we go from there. So you're going to find out, uh, going to go into exec, get a libel, uh, attorney libel's so, opinion on this? Well, I think I would go read say Carolyn, uh, our, our town administrator in Hadley, because she was the one that was, she oversees the agendas for the town of Hadley. So I believe it may, so the top 10 purposes, Number one is to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or me mental health, um, yeah, rather than the professional confidence, uh, competence of an individual, um, or to discuss the discipline or dismissal or, uh, or complaints or charges brought against, which I would say, I, I believe Commissioner Oppenheimer probably wants to bring back complaints and charges against right. the All right, so I think we, so we yeah. could. I think we could do that. Yeah. Richie, okay with an executive session just to have a talk about what we're happy yeah, and unhappy about? You're okay with that? Is. You're not, but would you vote in favor as long as we can go ahead and put some print ads out? As long as we can. I think well, we could meet in the middle by putting ads out and then meeting in the middle. All right, I'm going to call for two votes. That's all I am not. Okay. I'm going to have two minutes. Sorry, I'm sorry, we're still talking. Probably we watching. We're already there. Can we have two separate? Yes. And I don't understand why. Uh, meeting in an executive session is contingent upon also from Ms. Oppenheimer agreeing to be able to put out print out because we just said we can do two votes. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, two, two, two things here. <laughs> uh, and I've been involved uh, in executive sessions such as yourself back in the day. And I know that the personnel items or issues being discussed that the, and you helped me with this, uh, Pamela, that the uh, personnel people that are going to be discussed in the executive session. Now, I'd like to think that we're meeting as a group, friendly, get together, and we're going to discuss things. But I have been involved in executive sessions where the individuals have brought in an attorney and it's transcribed, there's a transcriber there. If that's what's going to happen, which I'm not suggesting, but I want to, I'm with Risa here on clarity, because if that's going to happen, mm -hmm. then I'm going to make a motion we get an attorney because someone's going to represent the Housing Authority Commission if, if the staff or personnel to bring in the representation. That's yep. So I um so what uh Commissioner Shadwick is, is describing is accurate that if um that an employee has the right to do that from this conversation it's my understanding you want to talk about me. You don't want to talk about my staff. So it would uh we, I think we said administration, yes. which includes you but there are others so if in you, your if administration. It includes them then you have to name them. And then they have the right to be an open meeting or closed. Can we just leave it to administration and so I, we we said we weren't going to mention anybody's names. Right. So I, I we were going to have a discussion of pros and cons of how this is right. So I would I would say that you should limit it to the the to me and my administration or to, to me in the day to day operations and I can report without names. So I'm without okay names attached, that. because we can't go after individual people. Right, right. It is, it is, right. you know, it's the, it's the issue of. It's the it's administration, a, but it yeah. comes under your direction that and discretion. They all report to you. And I would not be bringing in an attorney. Then I'm, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so my, <laughs> my understanding with executive sessions is that minutes are taken and then minutes, uh, and then after the issue that the executive session was held for is no, is resolved, then those minutes are available to the public. Now, that might not be the case if we're talking about an employee or, a, you know, 
So again, we would not be able to talk about an employee by me. No, no, but, they, but then also a tenant. If we're talking about individual tenants, there's only so much information I can still give you because the tenants' rights are protect, protected. But, but as long as we don't use names. Right. And then there might be parts of the, you know, it is once the issue is resolved, but then if it's still confidential in nature, um, the minutes could still be held or they could be redacted to protect as well. So my point is, is that this is not a free for all just, you know, because you want to get stuff off your chest. This is a legal proceeding. And if minutes have to be taken. I understand. No, I understand. I've been involved with enough of them. And I just want to go back to Commissioner Oppenheimer insisting on going out and research. Because we're given a mixed if message. I could, we're, we've been given a mixed message all could, these months. And we, I was told to do certain things and prepare certain things, and I did. And now we're doing a total turnabout. Okay. So I not, feel... Not complete. Right, and I, when, when I have around to... Pamela has, has the floor. Pamela has the floor. But did she just answer? You have to wait your turn. I didn't finish. What, okay, I, what finish. I'm saying okay. is that there has been a history. There's been a pattern with you and other members of the Hadley Housing Authority of when the when an executive director enforces a lease, enforces a rule, enforces forces a policy, when the board of commissioners enforce those, you make a campaign, you personally make a campaign to oust them. And that is, you are now a commissioner of the Hadley Housing Authority, and your number one uh, um, responsibility when you sit at this board <coughs> is a fiduciary responsibility to the board. All right, thank you, panel. So this is the kind of thing we can talk about in executive session, uh, you know, are we, are we uh, behaving properly as a board? We can review ourselves at the time too. Um, are some individuals um, acting out of line or whatever? We can talk about all this stuff and maybe we'll end up with a, a stronger team. So I'm gonna call for a motion to but do you want to check this? You can let me finish you. Sure, I'm sorry. Yeah. So go ahead. What I'm saying yeah, is please. it's confusing for a person who's on the board. I was I was asked to do certain things, and I did it. I was asked to go to newspapers. I was asked to help create an ad. Yeah. I was asked to, to, you know, to study. As, and, and I feel like all those weeks of doing that is just for nothing. It's like saying, okay, I've decided so not to do So I don't know what something. you're talking about. Who well, have, have we decided not to go out and advertise? No, but I mean now so that we're doing Because you you're doing a total about, I mean, about face kind of. Where we... I, I, I do, do not want to no, please, right. please, one at a time, guys. We have not decided not to advertise. So whatever well, work That's what done, I'm hearing. I'm sort of hearing that. Well, listen more carefully than Sue. Because I'm making that statement, Sue. Pam, about... Me going after other, I, I am not responsible for other people not being here. Okay, so I'm going to stop this conversation, okay? We're not talking it's about you. We're discussing whether <laughs> we can have a working a working meeting to bring up some of the issues we've all had and hopefully come up with solutions. To me, it makes sense. There may be a view that doesn't make sense, but um, what I'm hearing is we're all agreeing that if it's legal, We'll go into executive session, try to clear the air, and hopefully end up in a better place after we've done that. I'm going to take a separate vote. I'm going out to advertising, so I'm going to ask for a motion to to have a uh, working meeting, executive session, to, um, what would you call that? Um, Did you, there, what was the first? Could you read that first uh, category, please? I'll make that motion when you finally decide okay. how it's got to be. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Yeah. I think we fit that first category <laughs> pretty clearly. Um, to discuss, I think you could do um, to discuss complaints or charges brought against a public official, officer, employee, staff member, or individual. Okay. What, what, what are some of the other ones? That's rather a strong it is. Um, motion um, that I would not want to make. So it would be reputation. You can, you can, uh, okay, you can discuss the reputation, character, phys physical condition, or mental health rather than professional comp uh, competence of an indi individual, or to discuss the discipline or dismissal or complaints or charges. I, you could do go with um, complaints and concerns. Yes. Why it is public? Yeah, it's it's going to be a general, if I may, it's a general discussion. 
But it, it, we're not leveling charges. We're not proving <laughs> actions. And, and no. I, I, but it's, I think it's complaints. I do think it's complaints. And I, I, uh, Concerns as well, opposed to complaints. Well, it yeah, says complaints or charges, but I, I, could, well, I would put complaints or concerns. Okay, thank you. Can we well, have a copy of that, Pam? Will you get a print that out for us? Yeah, it's an open piece. No, but that's no charge. Section. We want to have a discussion. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's so concerns. Well, we've already we've already announced that we're considering doing a search. So to me, this is a smarter next step. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say sure go out and advertise, but uh, I don't want to waste Sue's time. So we have a motion. Well, we'll get back just on the search thing. We already had a vote to advertise for an executive director. All right, so we don't have to go back. But, but we can't do but we can't do that yet because the E, I always get this confused, the E O H L C has not approved this. And we still don't have a total cost because whatever they approve, then the cost. So we already have the vote to advertise, but we're just not doing it. Right away, and we're going to have this other meeting. Okay, I agree. So That's I'm, what I'm. Do I have a second for the uh, special meeting? Second I session. made that motion. However, you write it up. The motion was made. Yeah. Yes, I'll do a second. Okay. Thank Any you. other discussion? <laughs> all right. All those in favor, we'll have to schedule it. Say it. which thing I'm confused. We're voting on whether to have an executive session to talk to talk about me and concerns. At our next meeting, we yeah. will go into an executive session. I say no. Okay, any, are we, as any as other discussion? We have one no, all in favor? Aye. Aye, aye, one in favor. All in favor, yeah. one, nobody's taking notes of these meetings. No, um, it's being oh, recorded it's, and no. I'm, I'm and taking go over cliff this. notes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just have a Excuse me, just a minute. I want Sue to be clear in understanding because mm -hmm. when we voted at the last meeting about doing a search or something, she voted, she got confused, according to her, at the last meeting that she voted no when we were doing something. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're not clear on what this we're is. We're doing two things This now, is at our next, if right. I may, right. if I may, at our next meeting, we will go into executive session for this purpose of discussing things, okay? So it, it's a positive thing. Okay, it's a positive thing that we're going to have a meeting, but then we will go in executive session where we can all talk about our concerns of the current arrangement. Nobody, nobody's telling you not to get your okay. draft approved. So when he's calling now for the vote, for some reason or another, I would like some unanimity on this board. <laughs> yeah, <apparently laughs> that you we all agree, agree on something. Well, it happens. You have five different individuals. All right. Okay. So, so just all the, the question. part of that does, um, it says that you have to give... Um, we have to post it like regular 48 hour notice and then the, you have to inform me in writing so i would draft a letter for you you can approve it um just saying oh, thank you. we'll sure. have that and then i will um respond back that i'm okay with it or that i would like it in the executive session okay so we did have a vote of four to one to have the executive session pamela just said she's going to send me a letter to, so i can notify her in writing <laughs> and uh i hope this is a good thing because um, I personally feel like we are not going to have an easy time finding somebody qualified who the executive office will approve and uh, come in for the uh, 16 hours or whatever the state gives the person. I mean, it's set up to fail by the state, in my opinion. Now, I'm saying that on camera. All right. So you already have your vote to continue preparing an ad. Right. Okay. Well, I can't go any further than... Okay, so I've been asking, Pamela, how do we, who do we contact at the executive office to get an ad approved? Apparently, so Sue's been trying and can't get... Well, it would be, Evelyn will say, but it, 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 you really do need board vote authorization for her to continue. That was not what happened at the last That's meeting. Correct. I, didn't, oh, I didn't send it in yet. I, I wanted yeah. to know who to send it once yeah. everybody looked at it, once DHCD approved it. Right. I, I, I didn't take it upon you, myself. You're saying the board should approve the ad? before it's sent in? Yeah, and approve it being sent in. And you don't even, and we don't have a um, subcommittee. And I don't think we have an agreement. You had a prior agreement, but it is on here again that you will spend any money. So I wonder if you just, if you want to have the executive session prior to the next meeting, 
so we can talk about these things or yeah. Um, could, could everybody think um, about what they would bring up in an executive session to both challenge Pamela a little bit on what we might be unhappy with and to make suggestions of how to solve whatever. I don't want problems brought up without suggestions for solutions. Okay, it's easy to bitch and moan about don't you wish things could be better and this and that. But if you don't have an idea on how that can be made better, uh, I'm not saying not to bring up problems without solutions, but you should have some idea of how we can improve things if you bring up a problem. I'd like to have some ground rules at this meeting because I tend to be, I feel that I get shut down more than any other person. And because of that reason, and because of that reason, he's just teasing. Because of that reason, I want to, I don't want to, if we're going to prepare for this, I don't want to be shut down unless I'm told why I'm being shut down. If I say something, I don't want to have that. Everything that comes out about, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that. Well, so I'm just going to ask you to right. wait your turn. That's all. Right. One and person at a time. That's right. all I'm asking. But even when I do wait my turn, I feel like I'm being shut off off in another way. You can have this for the executive session, though. No, I do feel like I'm being shut because I, I think there's many of us that don't say Mr. Chairman and just butt in, but I feel like I'm, I'm being targeted in that. Area. No, you're not. It's my fault so for not running a tighter meeting. Right. I take the blame for that. So, because of that reason, I hope that it doesn't happen and, at and this the meeting. Are Robert's rules of order, right? That's what the. But that, that, yeah. that, that means all of us, and not just. I feel like happening. Yes, to I'm all sorry, Sue. If I if it yeah. feels like, or if I do cut you off too often, all right. I feel really good about this, guys, because we've never done this. We've never had a working meter. I don't really care if the camera's on or not, but um, I think it might be more comfortable for all of us to try it in executive session and. Uh, I guess I would like to have the opinion of an attorney that this is a cool thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can, I'll reach out to Rich, you feel good about this? Just clear the air about? Really? Uh, Final day. Okay. All right. So when will she be scheduled this for? How about next Tuesday? Next Tuesday. It'll... There, there's a period of time. You have to give notice. Well, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a 20 hours. Yeah. So we can keep the momentum going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you give me that letter in the next day or so? Oh, absolutely. All right. Thank you. Since we're talking about meetings, Ted, how did the meeting get changed on Tuesday from 11 to 1? Point of order. It's my, it was my understanding that it was 11, or it was 1 that because of the, um, there was a conflict earlier on for somebody else. So I think we went to 1. Okay. That was, that's what I had down in the meeting minutes. And if I was wrong, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's what I had in me. But we pulled it. So next month. Next Tuesday. Good. Better make it later in the week if if uh, you're gonna give me a letter by tomorrow, which is Friday, yeah. and then I'll send it or you'll send in the uh, agenda after it's approved. Um, so our next meet. Uh, I'm sorry, Sue. Our our regular meeting is the twenty four. Um, How about towards the end of next week? The night. Let's see, when is it like to keep it on Tuesdays, if possible? But this executive session would be a special meeting. I know, but still, there's a certain, because I have, we all have appointments on, sir. I can always keep Tuesdays open. And, uh, my Tuesday, all my Tuesdays are good until the 31st. So I, if we, if I moved quickly, we could post it for the 17th. And, I could, and it's just a simple letter that just says we'd okay. like to discuss so that's, this. That's a week, a week from next Tuesday. Uh, so it's just kind at of 11 o'clock. Yeah. Pamela, I would like to understand no, an executive we, session more because I've never been to one. What constitutes, I mean, can you give us, I mean, I've, I've read my packets and taken the training. Can you give us like a reader's digest of why and why certain things go to executive session and what, how different that is and why sometimes the public is invited and other times the public isn't invited? It's, it's it's typically confidential information would go be, before an executive session. And what I was reading was from the open meeting guide of one of the 10 reasons why you could go into executive session. Another one is if you're discussing, we're going to sell the back lot uh, over here, but we want it to be confidential. You don't want it to get out before you make that decision. Union, a, union negotiations. Union negotiations, things like that that are that um, tend to be confidential in nature. And then it runs just like any other um any other meeting where, where you're gonna follow Robert's rules of order. We we start in open session, the, the a roll call will be taken, everybody um 
votes to go into executive session and you step you state at the beginning of the meeting i'll have the, all the guidelines from john um, that we're going into executive session and that we will not be returning or that you will be returning to regular session so is there ever an executive session that's just an executive session that doesn't start out as an open meeting before it goes into executive yes. session? Yep. So if like this meeting, we would post it as anything outside our regular monthly board meeting. We we bet is posted as a regular meeting. Even this meeting was posted as a special meeting, and this will be um this will be posted as a special meeting starting in opening open session and then going into executive session. And one more question: If we ever, as a board, wanted to go into executive session without management, is that something that we? Can do. Yep. Is it called something different than an executive session? If we're, going to talk about, if we're going to talk about an individual, they have a right to be there. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. always. No as matter. far as I know, always. Yes, absolutely. Always. And uh, because they're municipal employees and they're they're afforded that under the law, um, or even a tenant or a, which it's rare that a board would talk about a tenant, but it always, you always have to have 48 hours. You couldn't, and sometimes it, it comes up often where you're in the middle of a regular meeting and you're like, Boy, I wish we could go into executive session. We can't. It has for, to be posted. For example, hours. if we had a complaint against a police officer in Hadley, we would go into executive session. The officer would be there. We'd have an attorney if we wished, and we would discuss what the complaint was about, what the right. problem was, and usually things were fixed quickly. And I have high hopes that we can fix whatever we think the uh, problems are here that need fixing. And I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think so. And I have some ideas, right? I have one question I'd like to ask uh, before we adjourn. If we're, or, do we have a uh, property manager? Is that this? What's the person called who's supposed to be here four hours or four days? A property manager. Property. Um, so we are in between, but we do we have had made a hire and um, just completing the background quarry checks, okay. and that's only that will start either the sixty or well the then I'm sorry, the ninth is Monday is Columbus Day or an Indigenous People Day, hopefully either starting the 10th or the 16th, depending on when all those. We do a background screening check. Yep. We do a drug test. We do a quarry check. Sorry. Sorry is the sexual offender one. Um, it's quite an extension of background. Okay. And then the person also had to give um, a proper notice to the place that they were leaving. Okay, great. So, yep, we do have one coming on. But we have we have people. Here. Oh, yeah, we do. We have it's the the office has been um, staffed. Okay, good. So, um, so does the seventeenth look good at one o'clock? One o'clock? I went eleven, 11 o'clock. Can we okay. get back to you tomorrow. Eleven, 11, 11 please. It's Tuesday. It's I know, but I just want to make sure hundred percent. Can you bring your camera? Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, because that it's we we have to post it tomorrow. Oh, okay. I by eleven a.m. Well, I just well, I'll run the seventeenth. I don't think I that thing that. Date sounds, sounds, sounds like I just, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Is that still the day you want it? Um, yeah, I think that would still, or you could do the 10, whichever, um, whichever works for you. We could do 11, the 10. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Please, please. Yeah. So yeah. either the 10th or the 7th. So Pamela just said the 10th next week. So the 10th at 11 o'clock. I know I am. Is that okay with that? 10th. Yeah. Yeah, we move from okay. so 10, 10 to 11 o'clock. Okay, that's good news for me. For then, okay. I'd like to get through this, get this over with. And can you, by that time, could you give us that printed yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it out down. so we can have that guy? My is the meeting one? No, that particular no, thing you read about what we can, can, cannot say. It's in the open meeting. Hang on, but instead of looking for it, since you already have it right there, could you what, could you print that out for us? So, yeah. Without having to go through all our papers and that. No, you should have that from online trading that you did. I do, but I mean, we're, we're since okay. you have. So to we're try really. To... I'm very. I try to save trees whenever I can. So right. I can, but yes, I will bring right. that out. So we're posting for October 10th to 11 a.m. Tuesday, October 10th at 11. Yeah, Tuesday, October 10th. At 11. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I was just going. Okay. Sue, do you need any more help with internet access? Because I can help you save trees. No, no I'm, not, I'm, I'm taking classes a matter for somebody from the library now. Oh, I'm trying to get a little better. Oh, great. Okay. All right. But uh, so I do, I just, instead of looking, I just thought it would be more helpful if we just had it okay. here to look at. Sure. Um, it's easier to read. And it, so what should we be doing to preparing the ad? Looking at it to tell us what we're missing. 
So that way we can go in any direction where we'd be ready and eating. We want whose opinion? Our opinion? I don't know. Who's. She just said we need our opinion. We need to do the subcommittee. We need to form a subcommittee. We need people to look at the attic to see what's missing. And then in either way, either staying with this or we're, we're preparing both directions. Can I? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe let's get through the 10th, the executive session, because I think a lot of people's concerns on this board are because they have unresolved issues and questions and beliefs that about stuff. So let's get through the 10th and then revisit. Can you wait this. Could we ask for one thing? Can we at least form our subcommittee today? So at least that's done. Don't we, already have. No, we, have no. we, we have to form a subcommittee by vote. And I so we'll have one with me. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. Let me add something about the subcommittee. Uh, this is an ad that's got three paragraphs. With five, I know we were a divided board, but with five of us here, if we look at this, I don't know why we would need a subcommittee to look at an ad, personally, because the rest of it's all going to be driven off of us. It's not a very long ad. Why can't all five of us look at it and maybe, maybe all five of us agree <laughs> that this would work, but... Uh, may I? That, because the subcommittees, you're going to drag this out, drag this out, drag okay, this out. Okay, response? Uh, the beauty of a subcommittee is that two people on the board can go through these PHMs line by line and make sure that the ad is not going to violate the requirement. I mean, Sue, you've taken this on. You've already and I've done a lot of work. Up. So it may finish. So I can tell you from reading the PHNs, this ad does not meet the qualifications. And so if if Sue had someone else to work with uh, to really go through the PHNs and make sure every, you know, the T's were crossed and the I's were dotted, then we'd have something. But at this point, there's no, there's no point because because I've looked at them. I assume soon has, but the rest of us, I'm pretty sure haven't. So let's get a subcommittee to go through the PHNs and report back to the board what you've learned. Okay, we kind of jumped the gate on this one. Yeah. Can I just say to these the PHNs, the public housing notices that are in there? So in um, several of these PHNs, they have the executive director. Um, job description. Mm -hmm. So many um, housing authorities post the job description. The other thing that I would suggest is that you go on to the MassNOW website um, and they are the, they're approved for as a as a um, advertiser through the Department of Housing. And, and, it, and it's encouraged that the, mm -hmm. uh, the ex executive director has the MPH at Mount Encourage required, that they have that certification within a year of hiring. That should also be in that. But if you go in there and search under executive directors, there's nothing saying that you can't just copy a job I, description. I mean, I did. You don't have to re recreate. I looked at other housing authorities and that, and I. From Massanaro? No, just in general, you know, that. Are, and you I, really have to. Uh, and that were housing across Massachusetts. And I picked out key. I mean, I, I kept seeing what was being repeated. And that's what I. Like, where did you find those ads? Just under housing and, ad, and, and examples of ads yeah. for housing authorities for. Small housing authorities throughout Massachusetts. I'd like to make. So there's two. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a suggestion. When you established the subcommittee for policy review, and I I have to keep saying it because we are a divided board. Okay, uh, we had two individuals looking at the policies. I think because then Risa has made it quite clear, she's already read all these PHNs. So what's your suggestion? I'm suggesting that if you're going to set up a subcommittee, that uh, it be made up by two people that uh, we, we seem to be divided. I would suggest that Risa I will work decline. with Sue. I decline. On, but I didn't finish. Doesn't matter. I decline. It does matter when you interrupt me constantly. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, since he's leaving, I'm going to nominate uh, Harry and Sue to work on this, if you don't want to. 
Yeah, well, I do fine. All right, you better get back in here because I'm making a motion to appoint you to the study committee. Uh, that's my motion. Is that Harry and Sue are the subcommittee to put together an ad. That's just your first task to put together an ad to review the materials on the backgrounds, what the ad should include. And would you mind helping Sue with this? And uh, do I have a second? Harry and Sue on the subcommittee and their purview is to um, review the material for place an ad and design an ad. Do the research for the budget for it and all that. Yes, Sue? I'm, I'm seconding it. <laughs> you uh, asked, can we give you a second? second. second. All right, any other discussion on Harry and Sue working on this? Yes, there is a discussion from my standpoint. All right. I uh, will be coming off of this board, as everyone knows. Uh, I am also very busy right now with other matters of my life. Uh, and consequently, uh, to spend time uh, where uh, uh, Risa has done a lot more research on this than I have. Uh, and frankly, I don't know how much time I will be able to do. Right. But most and of it's already shown. I'm being honest. Yes. I'm being honest in the discussion. Well, basically, okay. it's written. We just have to figure out what it's missing, is what I'm saying. So you can plan on this. I have to. Okay. I have to. All right. Anybody else want to work with Sue on this? Yes. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Can, can we then maybe authorize Sue to reach out um, or to come back with another, to come back with another draft at the at the regular meeting, not the executive session? Yeah, Just come to, back with another draft unless we know, like I said, from what I followed, I, I included everything. Right. I'm not going to see anything all of a sudden that I did. Okay. So I could send you some. some so what I need to know is what i'm missing right so if if i can send i can send her some more sure um appropriate all right so so you're going to be a subcommittee of one if that's okay with you i would lean heavily on pamela for this i would not ignore the advice she can't that odd, though <laughs> going to pamela for so i with all due respect i, I am a professional right. and again this is I'm, I'm in my lane i mean this is my expertise i absolutely know i'm working with you to give you the job description it, it, it's, I'm getting the information from the executive office in MassNARO, which is the recognized certification program for executive directors. We have to comply have with to, all of this. She's the most knowledgeable. I understand. But the thing okay? that, I am not. The one thing that I'm seeing, you know, being a tenant and also being on the board, is the, is the lack of response, again, from Department of Housing Community and Development. This is an ongoing saga for, throughout the years. If management has stressed it. Board members have stressed it, tenants have stressed it. What are we going to do? You know, when I'm calling and emailing and texting people at DHCD to look at my ad and tell me what I'm missing and people don't respond, well, they don't respond to our phone calls, but they don't respond to, you know, we, we can stop and we. Okay, and I have the same experience with Evelyn, yeah. And I have, and it's not just Evelyn, Evelyn it's across the board. I'm, I'm trying desperately to get in right. touch with the folks up for the capital planning. But at the same time, there are 268 housing authorities, 48 housing authorities across the Commonwealth. We are absolutely, David, I don't know if you were on that call, we are in a three-month crisis of vacancies that everyone in the Commonwealth is putting their energies on, and they will get to it when they get to it. It's like when you go to the DMV or the Social Security office or any other government office. It takes time. It's we're government officials. There's only so many people. It, it, there's never enough staff. There's never enough. This is just going to it, it is because there's not enough money. It's public funds. I this understand. is taxpayers' dollars. Wait, wait, can, you explain, can you explain how why the budget's being cut? Governor's cutting the budget right now. Meanwhile, housing is really in trouble. Does that make sense? She's cutting the housing budget. Is that no? Budget? She's the oh. state budget. The state the taxes. She's yeah. cutting taxes. Because I can't explain. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, can, uh, we can talk at, off camera. Right, so, so you got somebody who's knowledgeable, and if you find that she's uh, not being genuine. No, I never so said that. I just thought it was yeah. uh, you know, going to you for that yes, particular type it, of stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's actually in the management agreements, too, that we would we would help. So, again, and the other thing with Ms. Musaya uh, personally is this last week she was here in Western Massachusetts traveling from agency to agency doing 
the PMR audits. She uh, she physically audits housing evictions. So no, it doesn't mean the commissioners actually go and stuff. No, no, yeah, no, unless you've said something up ahead of time. So it, it's frustrating. It is frustrating, it's but frustrating. it is it's the nature of being in public service. Okay, Sue, I'm going to say something publicly to you. Um, because you're an advocate, an old school advocate, and I love it. And I love your enthusiasm and you putting your time into this as it is appreciated. Please come to the special meeting with your ideas. Let's say, let's say Pamela's going to be our executive director for the next 10 years. What are the specific things you would like our executive director to do over those 10 years that aren't getting done right now? Whether it's the handling of evictions or good, outdoor policies or things that we might be able to have influence on. These come with specific ideas on the things you'd like to see fixed that you think are broken. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at you because you've been the most outspoken about things being broken. So I'm really going to be looking to you at this meeting to make uh, smart suggestions of how we can improve this. Because ultimately, it is, it is up to the commissioners to find management that runs the place well. And uh, we got problems here, I suppose, but uh, I'm guessing they're fixable. And we can fix them probably with policy. We could probably fix them by staff um, doing things a little differently. But uh, anyway, I talk too much. All right, anything else for today, guys? If not, a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. Second. Any discussion? Adjourn. <laughs>